Welcome, 4.30 to the time. I'm Rick Roberts. Man, I'm not going to be getting any Christmas cards from uh, <clears throat> the mayor's office or the city council, am I? Why, why would you say that? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I apologize. Well, there you go. Uh, if you uh, are just joining us, uh, I thought it was over. Most everybody uh, thought it was over. It's back. Uh, headline screams, Dallas considering sending Robert E. Lee statue to a museum. Um, and now they want to change the street names. They want to do a formal apology. I'm not sure to whom. Um, they, uh, they want to take down the Confederate cemetery monuments. Isn't that desecration? Is it, I mean, no matter who's buried there. All right. Cindy Harriman, uh, executive director of the Texas Civil War Museum, is with me. I, am I saying your name correctly, uh, Harriman? Is that right? That's correct. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on. Um, because quite honestly, you know, history is history. Right, wrong, indifferent. You can't airbrush out what's uncomfortable. Um, I, I am not sure why the city council is all over this again. But from your perspective, the Texas Civil War Museum, I mean, you can't have a Civil War Museum without the Confederacy, right? That is correct. I mean, if you look at the, well, I'm, I'm, I think I've read 650, between 620, 650,000 men died in uh, that four and a half years, whatever it was. I mean, that boggles the mind. Uh, uh, when you translate that into the same percentage as today's population, it would be seven and a half million. Isn't that incredible? And that, and that is incredible. And most of them died from disease, dysentery, malaria, all that. Anyway, um, do you have a place for Robert E. Lee at your, at your uh, museum? Uh, yes, it would be uh, next to our building on our green space. Uh, we but I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to tell you much information in that the Cultural Arts Department was given the task of finding a suitable home for the Lee statue, and they did their due diligence and I think contacted quite a few area places to see if the sure. statue would fit into that. And, I mean, just other than being obvious, uh, we are a Civil War museum, so... I mean, yeah, why couldn't, they, for... <laughs> why, why couldn't they just truck that thing out there? You guys have a little nice grassy area, put it there. And, you know, evidently, the city council has created a bureaucracy on top of bureaucracy. They now have a task force um, trying to come up with these recommendations. I'm not sure they can even decide what to have for lunch. Uh, I mean, it... it <laughs> It seems to me that this thing has been blown all kind of ways out of proportion. I know that's not grammatically correct, but, I mean, have you have you told the city council? Yeah, we'll take it. Well, we have not talked with the city council. We have talked with the uh, city cultural arts department. Right. And they took the task force recommendations and then did the feasibility study on all of those huh. recommendations. Jeez. And that is what they presented to the council today. And it is my understanding that the council will come up with a joint resolution and then vote on the recommendations that they received today, which could be three to six weeks, you know, before that happens. Well, so what about... What about this, uh, forgive me for stepping on you, talking with Cindy uh, Harriman, executive director of the Texas Civil War Museum. Um, so you, so somebody there knows that you've made the offer. What, what about this removing the, uh, they look, they're looking at removing the Confederate cemetery monuments? Uh, have you ever heard of that? <laughs> uh, that's, I, well, I know that that was the task force recommendation, but I think the cultural arts department, and I really probably need to refer you to them, but I think in their findings, uh, logistically, it's very difficult, and it has historical protections. Yes. And there's a cemetery there, so it brings about a whole different set of parameters than the Lee Monument. Did. Yeah, like desecration of a burial site. I mean, <laughs> you know, I get it that, you know, some of these people are offended because they, I guess they... Have they been made aware that 
slavery ended 153 years ago in Texas? We would hope so. <laughs> I would hope so, too. They also want to rename Confederate street names within 90 days. Have you heard of that? Well, I know that the task force, that was one of their recommendations, but the Cultural Arts Department, in looking at the history and searching through the records, has recommended that street names that had prominent Dallasites who helped build the city and happen to be Confederates, that those remain, and perhaps the ones that had no relationship to the city of Dallas would be the ones that could be changed. Oh, this... but, it, but again, all of wow. this is at the council's decision. So, <laughs> You know, I, I, have, uh, I have seen some stuff in this business. I've been on radio and television for about 25 years, 16 and a half years in, in Southern California, um, which is if you if you visited for a long weekend, you're probably okay. Uh, but to live and work there, even though I flew back and forth every you know every twelve days or so, uh, this is something I would expect Southern California. I'd expect L.A. To, or San Francisco to do, not Dallas, Texas. And then they said we need to apologize for the policies that furthered segregation and racism in the city, because the wealth of the city came from slavery. I, is is there? I don't understand where this is coming from. Do you have any idea where this is coming I, from? I do not. Um, other than this is Texas. Texas was a Confederate state, and so geographically, this is our history. And I do not. I do not know any inside information or anything like that. No, I, I, I no. I'm, said, we just, the only thing our conversation has been is during the removal of the statue and all the polls came out and said the museum is the proper place, a museum is a proper place. And again, stating the obvious, we are a Civil War museum, so we feel like we would be a good, proper place. Well, I, I look, I'm not going to put you on the spot because I, I would assume... Um, in your position as the executive director of the Texas Civil War Museum, you have to keep, you know, you have to keep uh, some balance in both directions. But does it make any sense to you that we, after, after all this time, we start taking down Confederate monuments? Anything smacking of the Confederacy has got to be taken out of sight. That's not, that's not uh, looking at your history. That's trying to hide your history. I, I think the purpose and the meanings of why these statues all went up were obvious at the time they went up and they didn't need further explanation. But as we have been further removed from that generation, now we have a society that doesn't really know the history and why these were erected to begin with. So putting interpretive information uh, that further educates our citizenry, that's I think that would be an excellent idea rather than removing them. And yeah, see, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with you on that. Just because those generations have passed on is no reason, reason to hide them. That's like saying, well, you know, I don't get my uh, great-grandfather's uh, you know, whole, uh, whole life experience. Let's put him in a home so nobody can talk to him. Uh, I mean, it just it makes no sense at all. You know, I, I'm not the smartest guy around. I've got a few degrees. I don't know if they help me or not. You know, I look back at our history and say, look, you know, it, you need to learn about the Civil War. I mean, that it, it's just phenomenal uh, how many people died, how many people were affected, um, what the, you know, the thought process was on both sides. And, you know, no, I don't look at a Confederate statue and think, ah, slavery, these people really, li I don't think that. I think about that period in history, but you're right. If you don't teach people history, if they don't understand what these things mean, if they don't, uh, you know, you look at the Constitution and, you know, ask a young person about it, and they just, I don't know. I mean, you can't miss what you didn't know you had. So, you know, that's that's the whole purpose of a museum, isn't it? That is, uh, and we hope that we educate the people that come through here and we don't try to tell them what emotion they should have, but we know they're going to have one when they leave. And we hope that that furthers their self-learning of the Civil War, just because 
nothing's really changed as far as politics, the press, the people and how they feel. All of that is transcends time. I mean, it affects every generation. It does. You know, I'm, I don't know that you're looking for an extra job, but um, maybe you can be the executive director of the Texas Civil War Museum and the executive director of the city council, too. And, uh, you know, we'll do away with all this. Uh, tell people. I'll, I'll pass on that second job. <laughs> tell people where you're located. I want I want people to go out and see you. Okay, we are on West Loop 820, uh, three exits north of I-30, and uh, we've we're entering our 13th year that we've been open, and uh, we have amazing collections of artifacts. I mean, literally, we are an artifact-driven museum. Our collection has provenance to the soldier that carried that item, and we give a human face to these soldiers. And we have we balance with equal number of Union artifacts to Confederate artifacts. Well, that's a that's a. I'm glad you said that because if you didn't, there'd be a city council member down there counting everything. So. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate very much you coming on on short notice. I know you were doing a TV interview before that. Uh, but, uh, you know, to wrap this up, you have let the city council or or someone in that that area know that you'd take the Robert E. Lee. Um, it, uh, I, I just, man, I hope they don't start ripping down monuments again. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, Cindy Harriman. Uh, Executive Director of the Texas Civil War Museum. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Uh, 444, the time will step aside very quickly. Uh, should, do I need to apologize for that? Uh, well, we'll get a blanket apology at the end of the show for ah, everybody. Ah, good deal. Yeah.